Hello, Amiibros. This is Jason of Game and Shock. So, welcome back to my Let's Play on Alice Madness Returns for the PlayStation 3. So, last time we went through the cranking up and pressing down facility where we ran into Dormouse. A very horrifying version of Dormouse. And we also found March Hare as well. Not as horrifying as Dormouse, but still pretty terrifying looking. Uh, so we, we went around the facility just, you know, killing stuff as we go. And uh, we found the, uh, the limbs of Mad Hatter, both his arms and his legs. And then he brought us to here. So now we're going to continue on as we go through the Assemblage of Destruction facility. The last one here. So now, let's start. So uh, already we got a nice pig snout. <laughs> right, right there where we can just shoot with our pepper guns and just make it sneeze. And <laughs> thus brings us a pipe. Thank you, pig snout. I <laughs> thank you, deepest gratitude <laughs> for you. Also, I like the red on this clock. It's making it seem uh, um, really hot, which uh, <laughs> it is kind of hot in my room right now. For some reason, from <laughs> where I am, uh, <laughs> it just randomly just got hot <laughs> for some stupid reason. So if you hear anything in the background, I have I some fans on. For photography makes the library smell like rotted fruit. I'm certain these solutions are toxic. Yeah, I have, to, I have some fans on because uh, if I don't, I'm probably going to get a heat stroke or like get exhausted from the heat. Well, heat exhaustion, basically. But, uh, so, so basically what Alice was trying to say is that uh, there's ink slugs here. No, that something wrong with libraries. Oh, no, wait, the ink is poisonous? Is, uh, poisonous? Oh, it, it is. Oh, ooh. I, I didn't know that. Uh, let's see. How many teeth do I have? I have 527. How much is the next upgrade for either one of my stuff? 675 and 575. I'll, okay, I'll wait to get um, enough for the Vorpal Blade upgrade. Because let's face it, the Vorpal Blade is a bit more, uh, you know, it's our default weapon. We want to upgrade it as much as we can. All right, Mad Hatter, let's, uh, let's keep going. Sorry, Chavis. I'll get this door open. Mad kind of sounds like me whenever I like. Wait, you know those times when you have like your voice, at, like you know, you're covering your nose. It kind of sounds like that. But the thing is, you don't have to do it like that. <laughs> you don't have to hold your nose to have it sound like this. I'll stop. Uh, so, oh wait, oh, what was the first one? It's. It's about the clockwork bomb. Press circle to throw the clockwork bomb. Okay. And then, uh, and then we can just... Oh, we can, we can just use it as a distraction against Babyface Quasimodo. But Babyface Quasimodo is not really a threat around here. Well, he, well not really. Like, he's, just, he's just being Babyface Quasimodo, like he always is. And then the, there they are, just, just all gobbledygook now. Alright, let's go, let's, do, let's get, let's get attack two more now, because we can, and, it'll be, and also because, uh, for some reason, baby face Quasimodo keeps respawning out of nowhere. It's not a good idea to have all these baby face Quasimodos coming after us, because then, the, then the, the population of all of them will be like, will be, they'll be considered endangered species, and no one wants that. I mean, the ow! How did I, I don't know how I saw that coming with like the ow. Uh, anyways, let's, no! You're not getting me this time, big boy. All right, let's see. wait. And I think I remember you have to parry these guys. Yeah, you do. There we go. That's how you do it. And then we gotta attack it. <laughs> Just get rid of the face. At least one of the faces, I think. Can I get up there? Get, get up. <laughs> no. And we just uh, hey. Uh, he's attacking me. Let's go back. And just let him just throw another thing at me. Come on, throw. It. Oh, he throws two at me. Oh, no, he's throwing three at me. Okay, I see your standards are getting uh, a bit higher, uh, baby, big baby face Quasimodo thing, big big boy. Uh, throw another one. See what happens. I don't know. Okay, I don't know what, what I'm doing wrong. I don't, oh, I'm not. Do okay, I guess I'm not doing anything wrong, but I just gotta keep slashing him over and over again. <laughs> there we go. And then we just gotta... Just keep slashing him until he dies. And, uh... Alright, 
Alright, so did, did I grab everything? Yeah, I did. I almost have enough teeth to get the um, the pepper grinder upgrade, upgrade, but like I said, I'm not going to do that because uh, we're, we're, I'm going to get the Vorpal Blade one. So there's a secret lock over here. Oh, and there's a memory over here. What's this one about? Whoever said there is no book so bad that something good may be found in it never read Martin Farquhar Tupper's proverbial philosophy. So it's about reading this like special book about a philosophy. Hmm. This must be a pretty good library if they have like some. It, but the thing is, what kind of philosophy does that book teach you? Does it teach you about like some philosophical concepts? What? This feels like an earthquake. What's happening? I really look like I know. Your judgment must be severely impaired. Jeez, Mad Hatter, I just gave you your limbs back and then you're just making judgments about me already? Why is that? Why must you do that? So, let's see. Oh, there's a mushroom right there, okay. I was about to say, how, how do you get up there? <laughs> That's how you do it. And then, oh, so, you, so if you shrink into these um, violets, you can heal yourself. That's nice. Are there any other? There's gotta be some other ones. Oh, and they, and they disappear after you use them. Okay. Let's see. Is that Dormouse I hear? Is he is he gonna keep saying his monologue about bad workers equal dead workers and they don't deserve their pays? Ah, I want the money now. Give it to me. The bad workers are still dead workers. La di da di da. Ah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so let's see. Can't do anything here. What? What? What do I need to do? It's gotta be something about like this. Can I just go over here? Let me see. Oh no, there's, there's an invisible wall there. Well, crap. Okay, let's try that again. Let's go back up. Is there anything uh, up here that I that I should know about? That's the shrapnel that it came from. Oh, let's see. Oh, I see. There must be a target around here. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Uh, and then you go into, thir into third person shooting mode. And then, just, and then we just make this nice and green. There we go. Now we're making some progress, ladies and gentlemen. So there's some teeth and then some stuff on the walls about Dormouse and March Hare. And then that how Alice is destined to kill them both. Uh, quite the... Quite the... The legend, if you ask me. Uh, so let's, let's, what's over here? Oh, it's just another path. This looks like the main path that we need to go on. And uh, Alice still has the hiccups. Someone needs to get her a water if, if she has that many hiccups going on, going on for that long. That I don't know how healthy it is to have hiccups last for that long, but it can't be a good thing. Uh, okay, so now we're down here. Must be something. There's, uh, there's something right there about Mad Hatter going going into that, like, uh, pile of rubble. Well, it's not really rubble. It's more like, well, some of it is, like, it's like rubble, shrapnel, and gears. And then, let's see. Do I, I can't call a, Wait, can I blow this up? Nope. Okay, uh... Oh, I see. Ah, oh, nice, <laughs> nice try, game. You think you're gonna fool me? <laughs> I, you almost got me. So he's like, what are you doing, Alice? Why are you behind bars now? <laughs> I don't know. This game is in this game is really uh, interesting. <laughs> if I haven't already said that already, which I have. I don't know how how Mad Hatter managed to do that, but he's just like whoosh, and then goodbye, <laughs> piece of metal. And then what? And then what? Where must we go? of the shaking but are those two quaking what are they up to you'll never stop us silly hatter and alice it's left 
You're too the late. The insolence, the arrogance, oh. execrable table manners. They are destroyers of Wonderland. Defilers, denuders, derangers. Delightful. Did they actually create that infernal train to destroy Wonderland? What does that matter? They deserve to die. Oh. Put me down this instant. I am the face. Enough talk. Battle time, missy. Oh crap, we got a boss fight against a uh, Dormouse. But uh, what was what was all that about? Like, that's quite an elaborate train, but uh... What's Abandoned everything else? Also, forget the past. The damage is done. <laughs> Let the madness begin. Resume the folly. So before that, that like comic book, like book cutscene, what was with the, uh, the characters talking over each other? That was weird. And then we got a trophy, Hatter's demise. But just <laughs> they don't even have manners to just let the let other characters just finish talking. <laughs> I mean, but this is Wonderland. <laughs> that manners don't really matter here. But what's going on? So I guess we finished chapter one. Caught me very own ribbon then. Saints be praised that he works in mysterious ways. Got plans for her. Take her over to the mango mermaid. Rent a bed. Answer woo, girl, Mr. Do you think you're doing it? What comes natural, though? Nothing natural to me. Get away. Okay, so uh, let's see. Is this chapter two? Oh, it is chapter two. Ah, oh. so uh, you know, I was I was expecting like a boss fight against um, the white cat reminds me of my against, sweetie. You know, Let me the Dormouse and March Hare, but uh, I guess not. But here we are in chapter two, so we gotta follow this cat over here, and then uh, there's some other like, sailors over here. Good. So we gotta go over to the mangled mermaid. I don't know. Uh, let's see. No idea what those crates contain. It's the stuff of dreams. As close as I'm likely to come to exotic places. And then, let's see. Let's just keep going around here. And then we can just follow the boxes. Follow the, the, the very well organized maze of boxes. And then we gotta maybe follow this guy. I don't know. I'm just I'm just going around the, uh, the dark alleys with where I assume the cat is. And I, who's this? Who's this charming fellow? Hello, is it? Who is this? Like the Baron? It looks like the Baron. Uh, let's keep going over here. I still don't know where the cat is. Am I even going the right way? I don't know if I am, but uh, let's just get. Where's oh, I guess money, we are. You fucking spunk bucket. Get those fat ass tools out on the street, or I'll come up and break you. Shut off, you cocker snipe. You'll never get past Long Tim. I'll get what you and your flusies owe me, Miss Ladybird. See if I don't. Maybe you'll notice I'm not pissing me drawers at the prospect. Alice Little, you'll make a nice change. 
Bring your disheveled self up here. Ah, uh, this, this is so British, like these conversations. Also, that guy had a, a totally ball and bowler hat. Just saying. I like his I like his bowler hat. Uh, right, so I guess we just go inside and... I guess we just ignore the cat. The cat just goes off and just maybe like eats something in the trash. Like a raccoon. Uh, but it's, it's just, just, uh, so I guess this is the Mangled Mermaid. At least I think it is. So let's just head upstairs and go meet this, uh, this lady. <laughs> this person. I don't know who this person is. You won't give me what I want. I'll burn this dump of yours down to the ground. Go away. She's done no harm. She hurt me feelings. How did, how did he get up here so fast and I didn't I didn't see him get up, like go up there he must have like went in but he just goes in and just slaps Alice really I was commenting on on your ball on your bowler hat earlier I mean I still want the hat but really you didn't need to do that and that, now here we are back in Wonderland Tundraful. Okay, already, this place. Uh, I mean, just, we got the, uh, the Northern Lights or Aurora Borealis. We got a crescent moon just uh, having a nice uh, little treat right there. And anyway, I guess we can attack the stars that are around here. I guess to people <laughs> to like IGN for <laughs> giving Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire a 7.8. Because of too much water. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. So I guess we, we just have to like go this way and just find some more stuff. But like, this, this looks so nice. Like, I gotta say, just standing right here and just looking up at Aurora Borealis and the moon just smoking a joint. Actually, wait, I just noticed. The moon is, the moon is smoking... The auras, the like the auroras that that are coming from Aurora Aurora Borealis. Never would have thought that the moon would create that stuff, right? You would never think that ever. But uh, uh oh, and there's a ship in a bottle over there. So is this like Pirates of the Caribbean? We can have like oh wait 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 no. <laughs> I was gonna say, can Alice swim? She cannot swim. So let's see. That's a that's a slide path. So let's go this way since it seems to me that it's over here. Yep, it is. We just slide, just slide, Alice. Just grab some, just, just grab some teeth. It's always nice to just grab like someone else's teeth. Could be like uh, Dormouse's teeth. Oh, and there's some more ink slugs around here. And also, I think uh, Alice. That's a very unhealthy amount of. Uh, blood that you just bled like that's 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 not normal from just like a little cut that that's not normal anyways uh, well, I think like eventually it'll just cut out what is that that must be that's got to be a new enemy oh wait, wait, and we also got baby face quasi <laughs> quasi moto just baby big baby boy uh, so, I guess we should we should get Let's go for the big guy first, because the big guy's gonna take a while to uh, take down. And he's gonna, he's just gonna try and, and punch it, you know. The typical, like, punch him, kick him, deck him in the face mentality. But, uh, this mentality doesn't work uh, every time. Sometimes you have to change it up and just uh, keep slashing out. Okay, you can, you, can just, or you can just throw, like, oily fireballs at me. But it, it seems to me that's not working. And then, and then look at you. You're just a blob on the ground. And, uh, and I destroy your, your fellow pals. And now that's it. Everything is done. Now this looks like a secret over here. It is a secret. Yeah. And we got a bottle for it. Nice. Oh, there's something. Oh, there's, get, there's, some, there's one I missed. Get him. And then. There we go. Done. 
so let's go through here. What happened to this to this owl? Is that um so what happened to this owl? Did this owl have a chest burster in it? Um, some did it like did like a like a big like predator um take a bite out of it? Like that's pretty like that's a really big bite. Pretty dis a disturbingly large bite. And now we got like the uh what is it? like the, the abominable snowman just uh blasting wind and that and that wind creates a mushroom because that's how mushrooms work the, uh, the big the abominable snowman comes out and he, and he just blasts uh, blasts out some uh some wind at some mushrooms and then th that's how they respawn even though i died right there i'm just trying to give, like, give us the, the true facts so let's, let's wait go uh, right when he right when he stops I, there we go perfect I mean, is there anything over here we think that there were there would be, but there isn't. So let's go down here. Well, it's the only place we can go. So I'm stuck. <laughs> and now it was. I, oh, we got we got a slippy slide. <laughs> nice. And then we got a checkerboard full of ice and a horse key. Or no, what is that? Is that like one of those like um, what do you call like those like those to like toys for like babies that have um. They have like balls in them and it, it like pops. It looks like one of those, but it doesn't have like the ball popper on it. Pick up hobby horse. What's this? Well, it's a hobby horse, but you just obtained the hobby horse. Destroy all obstacles with unbridled power. And I got a trophy for it. Strange hobby. Stampede through the opposition. A smashing hit. So what does it do? The hobby horse smashes through weak surfaces with ease. So, it's a, so that's the one that's ma mapped to triangle. It can also break through enemy defenses. Ooh, it's oh, it's a, so that must be really useful. Well, it's, it's show, but it's really useful against big babies. Fuzzy. Uh, we got an ice shark. So that's that thing that I saw earlier. All right, so let's just uh, whack it with with the stick <laughs> with this. Um, but it does not do damage. Oh, is it just like a like a guard break type of thing? Uh, uh, oh, there's another one. So these like the ma the madcaps of this place, and these ice sharks just want just want to fight them. Also, these 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 self-proclaimed ice sharks don't really look like sharks. They look like anglerfish. Don't they? they they're anglerfish on on legs. Remember to spend your teeth within the weapons menu. I will game, but I need I just need to get like a bit more teeth, and then we should be good. Uh, like we'll have a nice upgraded uh. Vorpal blade. Actually, since we have the hobby horse, um, is there any upgrades for it? Yeah, there is. Was the hobby horse uh, with its incredible power can knock back and knock down even the heaviest of enemies. That must be really useful. But uh, ooh, should I get it? I don't. I don't know. I want to get the um, the vorpal blade upgrade first, and then uh, I'll go for the hobby horse. Um, we'll see. And then, oh, <laughs> oh, I see. I see what you're trying to do, game. You want me to just break down this wall with the hobby horse? Okay. And then there's some more stars coming out of uh, <laughs> coming out from uh, all the review <laughs> the review aggregate websites that do use stars. And then there's some teeth over here. And then how do I get up there? Is there like an invisible platform that I don't know, or or do I have to oh, or do I have to come up from up there? Looks like it. I have to go for. Oh wait, no, 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 no. There's a pig snout. Forget what I just said. It's just a pig snout right here. There we go. I was gonna say like it looked possible if I was up there and saw like a bottle of if I was like looking down. So it's something with glasses. Oh, it's the professor. Great uh, news. The doctor. The ship was crushed and her crew lost. She was not built for navigating the Arctic ice fields. The recent competition of governments in fitting out polar expeditions. Is a needless waste of human life. So maybe that's when, when Al, after um, the fire took place, Alice was uh, escorted onto uh, like a ship, and then and then like the ship sank, and no one sur and no one survived except Alice. I don't know. It's still really interesting, and uh, that's also really interesting. 
That face is the. Uh, let me not. Let me not fall off the cliff. <laughs> Just please. Right, there's an enemy right there. Is it an ink slug or is what is? Oh, it's more ice sharks. All right, time for some. Time for some flashes. And uh, these things have like a lot of <laughs> stuff in them. So like, we got we got guys that bleed black blood, and then like the ice sharks with with their red blood, and then. Uh, <laughs> uh, so so uh, imagine if Jaws took place in the ice, and then like you had these things coming after it, like that would be pretty scary. Like, cause then uh, the, they would be on land, and uh, oh, oh, and also uh, ice sharks have access to the ice breathe ability. They can do that, and uh, <laughs> I didn't know they could do that. <laughs> okay, I see what these guys do. These guys keep on freezing, and that's that's not good. That's not the good thing. That's not the good thing. It's not a good. Thing. Oh, the, oh, I see. So then we can uh, use the hobby horse and just bring them back up, and then just slash them to death. And there's one like encased in ice. Like this is the ice age. It's like remember that one scene in Ice Age where like um uh where like all the care where like Sid's like seeing um like stuff frozen in in the ice like a UFO and. Um, the baby did, like, the Star Trek, uh, Live Long and Prosper. It's reminding me of that a little bit, and, um, uh, seeing, uh, like, a uh, Sid with, like, the evolution of, uh, ground sloths. <laughs> I don't know, that's a good, that's a good scene. Uh, oh, I can, oh, I can also take down ones that are in the ground. Let's see, and I got a bottle, and then, there we go, we just gotta go back up, and I'm stuck, and now I'm not. Just get, get off the wall, Alice. You don't need to be on the wall. Uh, oh, there's another one right here. Is this the way I have to go? Yeah, I think it is. So, yeah! <laughs> Just destroying more more stars. And that, uh, okay, so, wait, is that ink slug? It is an ink slug. Alright, now I have enough for the for the Vorpal Blade. Let's get the Vorpal Blade upgrade. And voila! And it's 800 for the next one. And then the next upgrade is probably going to be the hobby horse, and then we'll do the uh, we'll do the pepper grinder gun if I ever if I get enough teeth for both. Like before that, and then and we're off. Bye bye. Oh, we're up here now. We got another slide. <laughs> be prepared, everyone. We got a slide. What's that? What's that like orange thing that's down there? <laughs> I want to know. So, let's see. Oh there's, oh, there's a split path over here, so let's go this way. Oh, it's burning ink. Because I guess uh, ink can be set on fire. Oh, no, 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 That's such a tight turn, and I can, and Alice can save herself. Like, thank God for that. Uh, watch out for the ink. Get some more stars. Let's go on the left again. A, the, because of the star. The stars are the best. Uh, no, <laughs> you're not falling this time, Alice. Well, you almost did, but you're not going in the water. Like one day, you will learn to swim. Hopefully, the swimming is such a very a, a vital uh, thing that we that we we the people must learn, or at least that we should learn, because of how I like, like I said how vital it is. Uh, we got more ice sharks. Is that, uh, is that other one just gonna like use its ice breath on me? Alright, come back up here. Come back here. <laughs> also, like, for some reason, whenever these ice sharks like freeze me, they don't freeze me fully. They only they only go up to like Alice's waist. Why is that? I don't know. Oh wait, no, no. Oh wait, let's try this. There we go. <laughs> now that's how you do it. Let's do it again. There we go. <laughs> just spam. Just spam the hobby horse. Oh, it's not right oh wait, I got maybe maybe I can't do it every time. All right, let's do it again. Right, come here, <laughs> come here, big boy. <laughs> you want you want your fireballs? Here's your fireballs. And same for, same with you, other guy. Keep attacking him, and then I can't even see what he's doing, but we're, we're still doing good. And the same with, with this guy. That guy, uh, that guy just doesn't know how to deal with Alice. Uh, so let's go down here. Well, again, we can only go down here. And uh, what is that? Is that a leech? No, no, it's a snail shell. 
So who could be down there? Would it be Caterpillar? Or uh, what was the other character from... Oh, the, the, tur the turtle. Or is it the turtle? I, I mean, that's a snail shell. So why would a turtle be in a snail shell? That's weird. But uh, but in this game, there's just a lot of interesting, weird stuff. Um, but I think uh, we'll go we'll go down here and then we'll, uh, we'll finish up uh, everything around here. Oh, we're supposed to go this way. In this gigantic shell. Here's a tiny brain teaser for a tiny... Well... How is the Queen of Hearts like a typhoon? Oh, <laughs> now we got trivia. Uh, like a typhoon. Uh, both are... I'll, I'll go with square. Are you pretending to be dense? What is yours, but others use it more than you do? Uh, oh god. <laughs> These are riddles. That's, uh, your name? There we go. Wait, do we just have to go there? Perfect. I see what you are doing there, Cheshire Cat. I see you. What's this? Rose paint. Paint the rose red. Oh, is it like a Zelda piece of heart where you collect collect four of them, and you get a um, and you get an extra um, rose. In this case, interesting. So maybe I should find more find more stuff like that. That's in that's interesting. <laughs> but now we know. Oh, and it's completely blocked off. Like I can't go back there and grab another one. Uh, let's see. Is there anything over here? <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, there's, there's a gold bottle over here. Nice. So, um, I think right here we'll call it a day. Uh, so yeah, that is it. So thank you all for watching the video, and please comment, like, and subscribe. And next video, we're going to continue on in this place and just see what other kinds of weird stuff we can find. So shock the world and us, amiibros. Goodbye.